Hi everybody, and tonight's video is going to be a little bit different than what we normally do. Um, it's still Smoky Mountain Adventure stuff, but these videos are videos that something has happened. And for some reason we couldn't make it a video. Like, um, you know, we lost part of the footage or what have you. So these are going to be little bits and pieces of really good stuff. But something happened to the video or the storyline so that we couldn't make it a video, right? So, okay, let's do this, right? Let's do this. So we were exploring the back roads here and we came up upon this here. The road is actually flooded. And it's been what, almost four days since the floods. And uh, this is a little hollow here. And what's happened is there's no way for the water to, you know, drain. So it's stuck here and it's totally flooded this whole area. And as you can see this building behind us here is actually underwater. Wow. <laughs> Uh, we were just going down the road and there was no signs or nothing saying that the road was closed or anything no. and we just come up on it and ta-da <laughs> so yeah it's deep i would say that's that's turned into a lake you can see it's halfway up that door so it's at least three feet deep there big flood yeah it's a big flood as you can see we can't go any further so we're gonna have to drive around this, right? Yes. Okay, so we were heading out this morning and we were going down a back road and it looks like a stick. A stick punctured the sidewall of our tire. So I had to change it out with the spare and what have you. And I don't think that's uh, replaceable, um, repairable anyways, but these are 50,000 mile tires. Now, I only got 40,000 on these tires. And um, I do rotate them every 5,000 miles. And as you can see, the uh, tread is pretty much gone. I, I just don't think they make tires the way they used to. I remember getting 60,000 miles out of, out of a 50,000 mile tire. So um, I just have bad luck with tires wearing, especially in the last 10 years. But anyways, I'm not going to have that repaired because I think it's about time for some new tires there. Okay, so you can see in that clip there, um, you can see the flooding was really bad in that area. And we couldn't make it through. Well, on our way around that, um, that's when we got the flat tire. So we end up have to, you know, get a tire flipped around and what have you. And then we come back home and... Technically, that ended our day. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, we figured we'd share, share that with you. Now, in the next clip, we went to Morristown, Tennessee. Um, it's not too far from here. About 30 miles from Sevierville. And we want to do a little bit of exploring. And we did a really good video. But all of a sudden, halfway through the video, I lost the rest of my footage. The SD card wouldn't uh, register anything. So all I had was like uh, really good footage, but it didn't tell the whole story. Like I think we were supposed to go to uh, um, Davy Crockett's um, childhood um, place and all that, and we lost all that footage. So here's that. So this is downtown Morristown. And as you can see, they have a walkway that's elevated on the second floor of all these buildings. No skateboarding. Did you bring your skateboard? No. Uh-oh. So in the late 1960s, uh, they built this elevated skyway to compete with like local malls that were popping up. And they were hoping that this would be a center of culture and place where people would meet, kind of like your, your malls took off in the early 70s. But it didn't, it didn't happen here. Partially because it was open aired and it got so hot here during the summer months that nobody wanted to come up here. So your air conditioned malls end up winning. 
I love the old architecture on these building tops. Got some really cool brickwork. Looks like they're all mostly offices up here now. This one here has all been recently remodeled, looks like. these cool little crosswalks here you can walk to the other side of the road they got a cool little diner down there as you see the building continues up oh wow I love this old mural on the side of this building refresh yourself drink delicious and refreshing coca-cola Wow, that is really cool. More really cool architecture. At one time there was a drugstore located in this building. So what I like the most is the architecture on these buildings. Uh, really beautiful brickwork. Um, definitely gives you that 1950s, 60s, and 70s type look. Um, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think, Don? I love it here. It's just beautiful. Yeah. I like the walkway on top. You know, um, this is one of those uh, places where if you get a couple really cool businesses, this all would take off. There is some empty buildings, some professional buildings, but I think this could be a really cool, uh, you know, place to come and visit. You know, it's got a it's got an atmosphere. So here's a really old fire alarm. Really cool. Uh, I love it. So you can see that door just out in the middle of nowhere, and this door over here is charred so there must have been a building here and they had a fire and you can actually see remnants of that fire right there in that door we're being nosy and we're looking inside of these buildings that are uh, vacant and I found something really cool let's check this out I know it's really hard to see because of the glare but this is a really cool little venue here you can see there's a stage here seating over there but what I really like is this coca-cola mural that's painted on this wall here wow really cool this building here says paintball but I'm guessing this must have been a hardware or a clothing store at one time it has this really cool emerald green uh, facade so they have a mural of what downtown used to look like before they built the Sky Mart. You can see they don't have the upper level walking. That little pole behind toy. Huh, that's cool. You can see this old mural here. I can't make out what it says there. But then over here, you can see a little Coca-Cola mural, which is really cool. So 
So I like some of these alley gems here, all the old Coke, the cola murals and stuff. Um, that's what makes an old downtown a downtown. Uh, some downtowns, they actually get back into restoring all those, which really makes the downtown pop. So Morristown's really cool, and we will definitely be back to explore because there's a lot to do there. Um, of course, you know, um, Davy Crockett was raised in that area. And also a lot of Civil War history. And I think it's only fitting that we just do a big video with everything in one. So next, um, we're, we're taking our dad back and forth from uh, Sevierville to Knoxville. Because he is um, having a, uh, a thing of, uh, it's 40 days of antibiotics. So he's got to go there every single day. So this was um, something that Don and I came across while we were at UT Hospital. We thought it was really cool and amazing, but it doesn't really fit, you know what I'm saying, in, in any of our videos. So check this out. Okay, so we're here at UT Hospital in Knoxville and they have a vending machine here that serves ice cream, right? Yes. So we're gonna, we're gonna check this thing out, okay. Let's, let's do this, right? I think it's the ice cream of the future. Ice cream of the future. Okay, so they got this ice cream vending machine. So I guess you come up to the screen here. And then you pick um, a regular. Do you want chocolate or strawberry? Chocolate. Chocolate. What do you want? You want Cocoa Krispies? Cocoa Krispies. Cocoa Krispies. And then you get another one. Um, I guess chocolate sprinkles or, or, or mini M&M's? Yes, yeah, fine, mini M&M's. Mini M&M's. Then we complete our order. Then we're gonna pay cash. Okay, so Don, you gotta put in your cash there. All right, so we got like a robot arm. It's picking the cup up. It even plays music. So then anyways, it... Oh, cool. Look at the ice cream. It just comes out. It's got a little um, cartoon. Like little video playing. It didn't fill it up all the way though, you see that? <laughs> okay, so it's gonna do some Cocoa Krispies. Oh wow, it actually... And then we got the uh, M&M's here. As you can see, the M&M's are up there. M&M's. over the door here. That's really cool. Oh yeah, Don, you got to open the door when it opens. I think it opens automatically. Oh, there you go. There you go. Ice cream in a cup. <laughs> From a vending machine. From a vending machine. This is probably what the future ice cream is going to look like. Yeah, I can see these popping up everywhere, can't you? Yes. Definitely. And then down here has got a little... Please take one. Got your spoon that pops up there, huh? Okay, so how does it taste? It tastes really good. It's low, low fat chocolate ice cream with Cocoa Krispies and M&M's. Ice cream was really good. I actually like uh, Cocoa Krispies and ice cream, chocolate ice cream. That's something I'm gonna try at home because I don't know, something to do about the Cocoa Krispies and that ice cream, right? It was yeah. good, wasn't it? Yeah. And the M&M's was a nice uh, touch too, right? Yeah, so anyways, we're, uh, we're hanging out here in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, we've been here for a couple hours already. So, so wow, Don, what'd you think about all that? So you can see that we, get, we come up, and we do come up a lot of these little clips, and they end up never making it or, or something goes wrong. And we actually do have a lot more of these that we might put together in future videos. So if you like this type of just odds and ends, um, let us know in the comments. Yeah, throw us a video every now and if you're not, you know, 
odds and ends. And maybe we can come across some bloopers. We try to put those at the end, you know, at the end of the videos, but sometimes we we don't. So maybe we'll do that. But um, so yeah. Well, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe so you don't miss any more of these upcoming Smoky Mountain adventures. And we're gonna have plenty of Smoky Mountain adventures as long <laughs> as we don't have a technical difficulties, right? <laughs> and until next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you.